that it was considered, okay? The decision was made on the scene. I wasn't there, but at the same point in time, you know, a decision was made that this was a barricaded subject situation. There was time to retrieve the keys and wait for a tactical team with the equipment to, to go ahead and breach the door and take on the subject at that point. That was the decision, that was the thought process at that particular point in time. And there was 19, like I said, there was 19 officers in there. In fact, there was plenty of officers to do whatever needed to be done, with one exception, is that the, the incident commander inside believed they needed more equipment and more officers to do a tactical breach at that point. That's why BORTAC was requested on the scene as soon as they were there. They executed, they searched, at, or at least a, a dynamic entry, and went in, and uh, of course, that was not the 12, that was not the 12, that was not the for the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now, they, of course it was not the right decision. It was the wrong decision. Very. There's no no excuse for that. But again, I wasn't there. But I'm just telling you, from what we know, we believe there should have been an entry at that as soon as you can. Hey, when there's an active shooter, the, the rules change. It's no longer, okay, it's no longer a barricaded subject. You don't have time. You don't worry about outer perimeters. And by the way, Texas embraces active shooter training, active shooter certification, and that, that, doc, that doctrine requires officers. We don't care what agency you're from. You don't have to have a leader on the scene. Every officer lines up, stacks up, goes and finds where those rounds are being fired at and keeps shooting until the subject is dead, period. Why, 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 